Welcome to tutorial number 11 of Man Win Win implementation. This video will teach the users how to access the automatic parameters that are computed by the software with the daily records of maintenance work, and also how to create their own manual parameters, and lastly, how to extract reports and create their own key performance indicators. We'll start with the automatic parameters, which can be accessed for systems for items in low cost sectors. By right clicking on top of any of these entities and selecting the analysis option, the software will open a window with up to 31 parameters that are automatically computed by the software based on all performed records. To visualize them, we must click on the print button and select the automatic parameters preview. This report is divided into graphs with costs, times, and events. It's possible to either print this report or export it to PDF, Excel, or other formats. Let's close this window and see how to create a new manual parameter for a cost center in this case. By right-clicking on top of it, under the Analysis option, we'll switch to the Manual Parameters view. With the New button, we will create a new one. We'll select the parameter from the existing list or we can create one by clicking on the new button and filling in their code, description and measuring unit. Once we've selected the desired parameter, we'll edit the monthly values. In this case, it's one with fixed monthly values and an average for its total. When we click OK, the parameter and its values are saved into the system. Let's move now to the indicator. To create one for this cost center that we've just created the manual parameter for. Within the new simple indicator option, we'll start filling in the form with a code and a description. And we can also choose the analysis period. Next, we'll edit its computing formula. In this case, we'll divide the total maintenance cost, an automatic parameter, by the area which is the manual one that we created, and then click OK on the calculator. Now, we should define for which entity we are going to compute this indicator. We'll choose the cost center and select from the list the desired one. Lastly, we'll compute the values, which will appear only for the months that have records. We can now click on OK and the indicator will be saved and ready to access at any time. Lastly, let's access a work report from all the work orders information inserted into Man Win Win. We'll click on the work report button and select the analysis period. Additionally, we could apply several filters for any of the work requests, work orders, costs and hours reports. Let's see for example the costs report, grouped by work type with a graph option. A report with the costs divided by the work types and also the cost nature will open and present the data in a table as well as a graph with the main results. Let's close this one and see a report for the worked hours grouped by item and work type. Again, we'll see the data in the table format and also the graph. We hope that these tutorials were useful and helped you to implement Man Win Win software for your organisation. To know more about Man Win Win software, contact us via our email at support at manwinwin.com.